Hello everyone, my name is Sheng Jie, and I come from University of Chinese Academy of Sciences. Today, I would like to introduce the topic, Spiking Neural Network and Artificial Neural Network, from Biological Intelligence to Artificial Intelligence. Okay, one question, what is intelligence? Actually, I copy some explanations from Wikipedia. Intelligence can be different in many ways, like the capacity for abstractions, logic, understanding, etc. However, there is no unified definition of intelligence, even in psychology, artificial intelligence, and other fields. So, let's look at the difference between biological intelligence and artificial intelligence to processing the image. On the left, the image was the visual signals input from retina to the visual cortex. It is very abstract, but Artificial intelligence is another way to process visual information. An image is a digital number, and it will do some transformation, just like mathematical calculation. After training, the algorithm will recognize whether the image is a car, a dog, or other subject. Let's look at the basics of the neuron. As we all know, a biological neuron is combined with different parts, for example, synapses, dendrite, cell body, and axon. But in this topic, we just focus on how the spike is generated for the neurons and how the spike flows them to one cell body to another. Neurons are interconnected and transmit information through synapses. And most of them are chemical synapses. This involves a serious intrachemical process that ultimately affect postsynaptic neuronal chains. Action potentials are generated by the cell body of neurons, and there are different stages of memory potential change. Action potentials are all or nothing signals characterized by large and rapid change in memory potential. The action of thousands of these amazing molecules and machines leads to particular ions flow into L out of neuron at certain times and thus give the characteristic action potential. The nervous system is dominated by excitatory neuron and inhibitory neuron, which generate excitatory signals as well as inhibitory signals. The neuron is consistently receiving excitatory and inhibitory inputs, and when this sum of inputs reach a threshold, it excites action potential, a process known as synaptic integration. But how to simulate a neural model? The memory potential it is the key variable. Let's focus on this memory potential. The cell memory of neurons can be simulated using some physical models such as resistant capacitance, and we can use some biophysical model to simulate the variation of the simulated memory potential by specific differential equations, which is one of our main topic today. We can look at the variables like current input, member potential, capacitance, resistance, and time constants. The change in member potential is related to this variable. On the left is the change in member potential, and on the right is of course the member potential, but it is a sum of two different potential. So that is the basics of simulated neuron. Usually we call it Nikki integrate and find model. How the model process input to change the memory potential. For example, the potential has an initial condition. The memory potential increases until it is reached a threshold. Then, the neuron firing and reset voltage. Again, changing the potential, firing and resetting again and again. So, this is the memory potential change of LIF model. It can be implemented with some computer algorithms. In 1952, Alan Hodgkin and Andrew Huxley published a work that brought a neuroscience to a new turning point. They placed electrodes in the giant axon cells of the squid and recorded action potentials transmitted by neurons for the first time. The generations of electric signals is related to the cellular structure and the cellular environment of neurons. Under the action of electrostatic force and diffusion force, 
ions moving back and forth in and out of the cell membrane. The cell membrane stores electrical charge by accumulating ions on both sides of the membrane, so it acts as a capacitor. The ion channel controls the flow of ions in and out, so it acts as a resistance. The generation and transmission of neural electrical signals are actually the precise recognition of ions by the ion channel of the cell membrane, which is flowing to and out of the neuron at specific times, thereby generating electrical signals. The perception as the most basic computational unit in the artificial neural network, perceiving a weighted summation of the input and then generated output through an activation function. Biological and artificial neurons have certain some similarities, but biological neurons need to consider the tabular dimension of information, as well as the morphological spatial dimension of the neuron itself. While the input and output have a highly nonlinear relationship, neural circuits are neuron populations interconnected by synapses that perform specific functions when the circuits are activated. The specific way in which their synapses are connected provides the physical basics of neural dynamics, and these circuits are also used in the architectural design of spike neural network. In biological nervous systems, the majority are recurring connections. Now, let's take a look at how algorithm to learning. The first one is supervised learning. The learning mechanism has the advantage of being able to obtain patterns in the data based on prior knowledge, but only if high quality data inputs as well as corresponding output are inquired. Supervised learning uses gradient descent and backpropagation to perform tuning parameter inside the network, which is a form of global tuning. This approach does not exist in the biological nervous system. Moreover, the spikes are not differentiable, and the traditional gradient descent method cannot be applied directly. In some gradient descent algorithms, a discrete in spiking signals is transformed into a continuous signal. The other one is unsupervised learning. It is an algorithm for learning hidden representations from unlabeled data. It has gradually become a research topic in recent years and has even been called a leg stop for artificial intelligence. There have been considerable results in generative advisory network, but this process of Unsupervised learning based on deep neural network is very different from the unsupervised learning inside the brain. In the process of biological learning, we know that even when we are in infancy, we are able to achieve recognition as well as comparison of things that are not labeled. This seems to indicate that biological neural networks are capable of unsupervised learning of external input information to build a initial understanding of the outside world. And when this information is remembered, it is stored in the brain. When the relevant content appears again, the neurons associated with this information become active again and strengthen the connection. Change in synaptic connection depends on the specific spike timing of the presynaptic neuron and postsynaptic neuron. And there are still quite a number of results for an experiment, but there is no need for pat pattern of synaptic change. The last one is reinforcement learning, which is a machine learning approach to artificial intelligence that works to create computer programs capable of solving problems that require intelligence. This learning algorithm is imbibed by the study of a reward mechanism for animal learning. The unique feature of reinforcement learning based on artificial neural networks that is learned from feedback through iterative trials that are simultaneous, sequential, and invaluable through the use of powerful non function approximations. A similar task can be done using spiking neural network 
but the current results are generally not very good. With the premise that how to actually learn efficiently based on reward like a biological creature is an area that currently needs improvement. Next, we can talk about the general model architecture. The feed forward neural network is essentially a nonlinear composite function that approximates a certain function, which maps the input to the output. Spiking neural network can also do that, but feed forward spiking neural network, dependent recognition, and biological brain are still very different. The convolutional layer, as well as the pooling layer in convolutional neural network come from the concept of simple and complex cell in the neuroscience. The overall architecture of the CNN has some similarity with the visual virtual pathway. For example, the layer near the input may represent the counter information of the picture, while the layer near the output can be more representative of the category. However, what needs to be developed remains neuroscience and need to improve the mechanism of vision is how to recognize objects from different angles but based on a small number of samples it is still possible to recognize and in an unsupervised learning way. Artificial recurrent neural network uses the representation information in the hidden layer to memorize information in the most recent time step in the learning process based on time series. But the recurrent neural circuit in the brain display, display a remarkable dynamic richness and high variability in the form of recurrent connections. Excitatory and inhibitory neurons are interconnected to form a neural network that it is transitioned between chaotic and equilibrium state, states. Such recurrent neural networks have complex nonlinear dynamics and can be used to study biological neural network in specific microcircuit of the brain. This recurrent neural network transforms time very imperfect information into a higher dimensional space because it can exhibit rich spatial temporal property of neural dynamics and thus can memorize past input information. Finally, we can talk about the future, artificial intelligence, biological intelligence, and the neuroscience, and present artificial neural network and deep neural network have been integrated to a certain extent, and there are also some good results. The development of modern neuroscience is actually just over 100 years old, and one of the future direction of artificial intelligence is also the hope to achieve general artificial intelligence with human-like capabilities such as the brains by chip made by Singapore University, which combine two different architecture. That is to say, it can process the information of two different types of network architecture at the same time. The second point is that some breakthrough made by artificial intelligence and neuroscience, such as reinforcement learning. It can be said to be one of the most biological explanatory algorithm and present. For example, it stimulates the biological reward system, which simulates the mice to do some rewarding behavior to complete the task. Then there is a combination of biological intelligence and neuroscience, such as brain-computer interface or neuromodulation. Through the spiking-based algorithm, it can directly processing the neural information and modulate neurons. These are the direction of future development. In the future, what kinds of combination of this there would be? I believe we need to work together. Thank you.